A former Director of State Security Service, Mr. Mike Agiofo, joins us from our Abuja studios now to talk more on this. Thank you very much, Mr. Agiofo, for joining us on News Across Nigeria. Thank you. All right, so this really sounds cliche right now. Every time we hear seizure of containers with small arms and ammunition, it looks like it's happening almost every time in the country. The question now is, how are these arms even getting to Nigeria? Well, you see, like uh, the intro there, you talked about uh, Boko Haram, where these small arms are coming. You talk of uh, proliferation of arms from Niger Delta, uh, kidnappers, headsmen, and the rest. Uh, but I think uh, the most important thing uh, is our porous borders contributes, uh, contributes, to, uh, contributes also to the, the arms proliferation. But I think this training is key and timely. It, it shouldn't have come at a better time when you are conscious of the fact that we are going into elections. Because some politicians are also involved in... Uh, purchase of arms for talks. And um, a recent uh, UN uh, report revealed that of the 500 million uh, illegal arms in uh, circulation, over 300 million or 70% of it is in Nigeria. And that calls for worry. It's very, very disturbing. And uh, I think with this such collaboration, training and exchange, we should be able to be in position to check this uh, proliferation, more so when we're going to elections. And talking about checking proliferation, for a nation like Nigeria, what kind of security architecture would you recommend so as to end this finally? Well, it, 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 it again depends on the people. People have to volunteer information, we have to effectively manage our borders. You also recall that most, of, most times the custom has seized a lot, a catcher of arms, and uh, we need to police our borders and... Uh, I think one, that's one of the ways. And mobilize the people to give information on people stockpiling arms, especially now that we are going to campaigns. We, we, we all need to be up in our games because security should, uh, should not be left in the hands of the operators alone. We should all be involved because uh, when, when it, if it affects one, it affects all. So we should try as much as possible to get, uh, with the training and cooperation, uh, they just, uh, I think they should be able to collaborate more and uh, have some more rates in terms of uh, for recovering these arms. But, okay, with this um, training and collaboration between the German government and ECOWAS, how far do you think this will go in checking this menace? Yeah, it will go a long way, but I also want to employ our politicians to stop arming their youths. Because the, the, you recall that uh, when the Niger Delta crisis started, some of these, uh, they were exchanges of arms for oil and, uh, between the militants. And you have uh, another one from uh, Libya and uh, Mali, our neighboring, uh, they, are, they are facing civil war and all this. So I think uh, the, we should not be left for Nigeria alone. We should, since the ECOWAS and all the uh, countries in the South region are concerned, they were involved in this training. I think there should be joint efforts to eradicate this within the sub-region, not just in Nigeria. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Mike Ejiofor, former Director of State Security Service. Thanks for your time.